Hello, this is Kareen from Shakes Bakes, and right now we are going to talk about slicing homemade bread. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you've made a nice fresh um, loaf of homemade bread and left it to cool, and when you get back, someone dug into it and it looks kind of like this. Not very pretty, but let's see if we can't do a better job slicing this. This is a common problem that people have and here are the tools that you need to achieve this, uh, or, or achieve a better slice, rather. First, you need some homemade bread, and this happens to be a banana bread. Very fresh, by the way. A serrated knife, uh, as sharp as you can find. And a cutting board. So let's give it a shot and see if we can't do a better job than this. So I'll turn it around, and the technique that I use is actually to turn the loaf on its side, and I'm actually going to turn it on this side. When you have it on its side, about half inch um, slices, that's what we're looking for. Just try and see if we can't gently saw into this loaf of bread. Again, you are going to get some crumbs, but we're trying to achieve a better job than what we saw on the other side. So we'll ha actually have a direct comparison. I can't promise you that your slices will be even. That's up to you. Look at that. Wow. Let's see if we can get another one. That is so much better than the other side. And Again, you're going to saw into it, and you just try your best to get your slices as even as possible. And what's the result? Boom! A second time. Look at that. I'm going to show you the direct comparison. This is what people's homemade bread usually looks like when it's butchered up. And this is what you can do at home if you try this technique. Um, and so this is how you slice homemade bread.